Welcome back everybody. It is time to lock down another toy review. We're jumping into the Glios first. Once again, we've just had a brand new drop from Spaced Out Design and we are getting our hands on some new Geodraxis. We had three new figures in this wave, a really cool hand painted one, and we also had a very cool translucent one with some highlights of nice pink. Very stoked to check these guys out. And actually, I really wanna do a cool little build that Spaced Out Design actually did for this drop. So I'm gonna attempt to build that thing because it's looking like it'll be a nice little shelf piece. Also do have a couple other figures I just picked up randomly from eBay at a good price, so we'll check those out as well. If you enjoy Glios, Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below if you want to see more toy reviews. We've got more drops coming up soon. And we just had a new Mangalore figure just drop from Toyfinity. So if you want to see all that stuff, make sure to stay tuned. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these new Geodraxis figures. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and start with uh, this little package here, the eBay package. Let's get it open, get all the stuff out here. First up, we've got this guy. Oh my goodness me. Oh man. Oh, I haven't gotten one of these guys in a while. Whoa. Super duper Crayboot. Look at how sharp he is, man. I don't have this color one. I've got like five other ones so far of these. I pick them up when I can. Sometimes I can get a a little pricey but I, uh, I snagged this guy for under $30, which I think is a reasonable price for these dudes. And it's just a really nice sharp looking figure with that black and kind of reddish brown going on here. It's kind of this light color, but really, really cool. I need to get a new display for all my Super Cray booths because they just look so, so excellent. Very good condition, very nice and clean. The last lot I got of Super Cray booths just was uh, kind of uh, dusty, you know, it had been sitting on a shelf and stuff, so you had to clean them up. But this one definitely looks like it's been in this bag for a while, just nice and neat, which is perfect. This guy looks really sharp, though. I'm digging it. Let's put him right there. And the other bad boy I got here is, of course, an Armivore. Now, I do have this guy, this Armivore in particular. Bang, there we go. There's the focus on this nice looking dude. But I think what I really, really want to do is get an awesome build going with this. So I love the Armivores just as they are, and I hate breaking them apart because they look so cool as is, but I just got in recently the Biomaster drop. I've got these really cool Uzarian guys, and I think, you know, the combo of blue and green, if we can focus, thanks. I think the combo of blue and green with these guys would look super, super cool. So I think that's what my plan is going to be here. I can already picture like throwing the hands on the armivore and just making it look super unique and cool with both of the translucent things going on here. I think that's going to look really sharp. I'll post results of that build on my Instagram, so go follow me there. I do a lot of glios photography, toy photography, things like that at lockdown51. Go check it out and see what's going on over there. I post all the time on that thing. But that is it for that package. Again, just a simple little pickup here. I, you know, we've cut back on the spending of glass a little bit just because so many drops have been coming out recently. But I still take a look on eBay and when something good comes my way, I always try to snag it at a good price. So this one was definitely one of those. This guy just looks so clean though. I really love this colorway on that armivore. But now we can move on to the spaced out design drop. All the figures are in here. I forget how many I got. I know I got a couple couple of each just because I really dug the colorway on these and I had to get a couple of those painted guys. Oh man, okay, I'm just destroying the box today. That's fine. Let's get them all out here. Now Spaced Out Design always provides you with some little swag. They have new stickers from an amazing artist. I'll link the artist uh, Instagram as well, but he did some of these new artworks for the Geodraxa stuff and it looks incredible. Oh man, I love getting these little stickers they provide. They always do such a clean, good job of them. So these are an excellent addition. This is a little spoilery for what the figures look like a bit. These are the two main figures that were in the drop this time. So let's not look at them too much here. Let's put those to the side and let's look at the Tetra Storm Geodraxes. Look at how slick he looks. We're dropping our extra bits and pieces, but we got our extra little headpiece here and we've got our nice looking, clean looking saber thing. If we can get the focus on that. Yep, there we go. Looking cool. And then we've got the Tetra Storm himself. Look at all of that. We got this smoky, translucent, misty looking awesome body type with this kind of gray translucency going on. We've got this highlight of pink and then we've got the contrasting black. It's such a sharp looking figure. 
absolutely dig this guy he looks incredible such a clean look this guy has i mean come on check that out right that is so nice looking we got to get the little arm on here there we go get him with his little sword but bang check it out really good oh i love this this colors man these pinks on top of this nice kind of gray out thing it, it just really makes them pop it looks incredible great color combo choices on this one that's for sure there we go i'll showcase them with the other head as well there's the other little head design that he'll come with and you can flip it around i guess you could do it like that too although i don't see that very often absolutely stellar though gotta love this guy that's awesome i did get two of the tetra storm because i couldn't pass it up and you know for the build that i'm going to be doing later it does require at least two of the geodraxes just two though no extra additional he did the whole build with just two of the main guys so just in case i want to build it with the tetra storm i can i think i mainly got it to build it with the other hand painted one i think it'll look pretty nice uh, with that build and that paint design which i'll show off in a minute here but before we do let's just go over the base coat here we've got the tetra storm alpha this is the nice looking non-painted version so if you just want the crispy clean gray machine there he is a nice translucent look on him very cool absolutely love the little like misty kind of glittery neck glittery toothpastey vibes that this guy has let's get in close really quick so you can check that out you can see how it's kind of got like a glitter glitter hazy effect but it's really really nice it's a really good look on this guy in any case you know it's nothing too crazy it's the alpha the base model here with the unpainted version so nothing too crazy to really go over that we haven't already seen on the main tetra but I got to show them off because these guys just look really slick as is. Great for extra building pieces as well. And I did get two of the alpha version because, you know, I can't pass it up. All right, let's see if I can get the name right. Here is our nice looking hand painted. Let's see, what is he, what is he called? Prismarian Knight Typhromech or something like that. The name will be below, but let's get this guy out of the bag. It does come with the extra pieces as well, the little blade part, which looks crisp and clean. And it also comes with the extra helmet, which they actually put in a bag so it doesn't get, you know, scuffed up because, you know, that, that would just ruin the paint job basically just through shipping and whatnot. But there that is. Look at that. Oh, they did a nice job with these. Let's look at the main figure. Here he is, the Nightman. Flip around his legs back to the original position. There we go. Check it out. I mean, look at all the nice extra little details. They've got like the kind of like Gundam sticker-esque type modeling decals that go on this guy which i love they should do that more often too that looks really good definitely the right kind of glios figures to add those kind of details in and now i'm kind of tempted to find some of my old like gundam stickers and place them on certain figures as well that would look really really cool actually it's giving me ideas really sharp though i mean I, i'm not usually a fan of the kind of red and yellow combo but this one actually works pretty dang well i'm happy with it it's not like overwhelmingly yellow it's just little tads of yellow and then it also has that gray that helps it quite a bit i've seen other glass where it's just red and yellow and it doesn't look as good me for me personally but this one looks very sharp because we just have accents of yellow upon that red base with more of the contrasting colors kind of like the tetra storm with a gray instead of black but really sharp kind of robotic-y metal -y Gundam feel. Let's just get in on some of these details here with the nice paintwork that they did on this thing. I don't know how many they made of these. I haven't checked recently before I filmed to see if there's any more in the store, but typically they don't sell out as fast as others would. So typically they make enough where you can, you could probably go to the store right now, try to find some of these guys. They had a lot of the last drop available for quite some time. So he definitely makes plenty to go around for you guys. Check out the legs, the little calves and everything. Very sharp. Ooh, even the bottom of the feet are painted. That's a nice little touch and detail. Very good. Overall, just like top notch figure. The paint job, it looks, it looks so clean. It looks so good, honestly. Very, very happy with this. I mean, we can get him in some cool poses, but that's why I'm excited for the build because it really adds a lot of character to this specific colorway. I think once you do that build, I mean, there's plenty of builds to go around with. Geodraxis, it's a pretty popular 
parts uh, from the community. Lots of people use Geodrax as parts, so there's just a lot of variety you can do with these guys' uh, joints and hands and arms, especially the body and stuff too. And like I said, the build requires two, so I did end up getting two of these guys, of course. I'm gonna bust him open in a second so we can do the little build and I'll report back. But before we do that, just one last glance at how he looks as is. Actually, really phenomenal, really cool. Might have a problem. That's, yeah, that's a problem. I was wondering why a leg was off when I uh, opened it up. That's super unfortunate. I guess I'm gonna swap this piece for this piece and just hope it works out okay. Oh man. Oh, I see now. It completely got sliced in half somehow. That's crazy. So this piece is out as well. Alright, here it is. Here's the full complete build from the two Prismarian Knight Glios figures from Spaced Out Design. Looking pretty sick. You can see how it just bulks them out a bit more, makes them a little taller, higher. He looks really sweet. We've got this like kind of jetpacky little backpack thing going on. And yeah, so my leg piece was completely busted. Now I noticed it when I opened up the package that the leg was off, I thought it just fell off, but Obviously, upon trying to build, I realized that this connector piece and this connector piece got like, it almost looks like it got heated in half, like a hot butter knife went through it and just completely separated it. I can't get it out. I almost sliced my finger off trying to possibly get it out. So that's just a, you know, a sucky, a sucky thing. Unfortunately, that's the first time that's ever occurred for me. Uh, as far as like connector bits just being like fused inside, how that made it into the packaging without you know, them realizing, I don't know, uh, but it's been unfortunate. Luckily, luckily my intention was to build this guy and to use both things, not to display both just regular figures. So I made it work. You know, I swapped out this piece for this piece and I think this was just an extra anyways. I could have used it somewhere else, but you know what? We made it work. We made it work and he looks pretty freaking sick. I'm happy with it. Yeah, unfortunate about the leg piece, but luckily, yeah, I was just able to get it done, and this is how he'll be displayed for me, so that's pretty excellent. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Do you like this build? He is a bit tricky to stand up, a little bit back heavy. Here are the figures all together once again from this wave of spaced out design. Make sure to go check out the website right here. They Again, they've got a lot of stock usually, so you can definitely go grab some of these guys before they run out, and I would highly suggest it. I love the Terra Storm one. That thing is super dope, and this guy was a lot of fun to build despite having the little issue with the part. That is a very uncommon issue. And again, out of the hundreds of glass figures I've bought, uh, brand new and used, I've never had that happen before. So I just want to reiterate that. Uh, you, can, you shouldn't expect something like that to happen. That's not a common issue. It could have gotten cold or something and snapped. Again, uh, you don't have to worry about that. I would just go get some of these guys. They look incredible. 
I really do dig this guy. He looks amazing with the paint job. They did a phenomenal job. Everybody is popping off in the glass community as far as creators go, so go support them. I might even build this guy again, but with the Terra Storms, I think that would be really cool looking as well. So I might have to fiddle with that some more. Maybe use one of the blanks combined. I don't know. I'll say it right now too, by the time this video comes out, Toyfinity also just dropped their Mangalore stuff too. So if you want to try to grab a figure before they sell out, I would highly suggest doing that because I will be re releasing a review video for those and the new figure as well. So I don't want anybody uh, missing out potentially once I put the video out. It's already going to be done and over with. So again, with these guys, grab them while you can, grab them while they're hot. That's going to do it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, share around the Glios community, and subscribe for more. Have a great rest of the week. Look for more Glios content coming soon, as well as some Crazy Bone content coming on Sunday. And we will catch you guys in the next video.